friends, and welcome back to another week of Miss Nicole's Virtual Storytime. This week we're going to get into colors and all the different kinds of colors that we see all around us in everyday objects. So let's go ahead and get started with our story time. So we're going to go ahead and do our hello song, and then we're going to do some more singing and dancing to shake our sillies out. Then we're going to read our story, and then we're going to do some more singing and dancing, and then it'll be time for us to say goodbye. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get our hello hands out to wave to all of our family and friends out there. So we're going to start with our hello song, and we're going to do it two times. So here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Good job, my friends. So now let's get our arms up and stretch for our books to the ceiling. So let's reach up, and here we go. Books to the ceiling, books to the sky. My pile of books is 10 miles high. How I love them, how I need them. I'll have a long beard by the time I read them. Good job. All right, so if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and shake our sillies out. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my waggles out. Wait, I'm gonna clap. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap those crazies out. Let's clap. Big claps. Good job. Now what's next? We jump, jump. Jump, reach that ceiling, reach that sky, keep jumping, keep jumping, keep going, keep going. Woo. I got me all tired. Woo. Let's go with the sleepy zone. Get it all out, we be ready to go. Get it out. Whoa. And then we shake again. Shake. So remember, we're going to do one big last shake. Here we go. Shake Ready? We go, go ahead. Shake really good. Shake, 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 shake. Good job, my friends. And now if you're ready, let's go ahead and get into our story of the week. Now, before we get into our story, as usual, you can pause at any time, but I encourage you in between colors, if you wanted to pause and have a look around your space with you and your family to see if you can point out colors too, you are more than welcome to do that. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, my friends. So our story this week, like I said, is all about colors. Our story is called I Like Colors by Kim Thompson. So we're gonna be able to look and see all the different colors that are all around us every day. So let's go ahead and get started. A red apple, a red nose, a red bird, and a red rose. So these are all the things that are red. Can you think of anything else that's red? I like red. Yes, I do. Do you like red too? How many of you like the color red? I know I do. A blue ball, a blue fish, a blue truck, a blue dish. I like blue. Yes, I do. Do you like blue too? So how many of you like blue? I love blue. It's one of my favorite colors. So take a look around. Do you see anything else around you that could be blue too? A yellow duck, a yellow spoon, a yellow cup, a yellow balloon. I like yellow. Yes, I do. Do you like yellow too? Can you guys guess? Do you think I like yellow? I'll give you a hint. It's yes, because what color am I wearing today? I'm wearing the color yellow. So yes, I like yellow too. So make sure you take a look around you and see what else you can spot that's the color yellow. A green pear a green tree, a green frog, green, green leaves. I like green, yes I do. Do you like green too? Do you like green? I do too. So look around, what else do you see around you that's green? An orange pumpkin, an orange kitten, an orange shirt, an orange mitten. I like orange, yes I do. Do you like orange too? I like orange. How many of you like orange? All right, you know what to do. 
You can pause and take a look around and see if you notice anything that's the color orange. A purple pail, a purple bike, a purple book, a purple kite. I like purple, yes I do. Do you like purple too? I love purple. Purple and blue are two of my favorite colors. I love both of them. I can't choose which one's my favorite. So now you can pause and take a look around and see if you have anything by you that's the color purple. A brown cow, a brown fox, a brown squirrel, a brown box. I like brown, yes I do. Do you like brown too? I know brown can see kind of a dark and icky color, but do you know what's brown? Chocolate, and how many of you really like chocolate? I know I do, and that's one of the reasons why I like the color brown. Now take a look around you. What do you see that is also the color brown? A black sock, a black bear, a black horse, a black chair. I like black, yes I do. Do you like black too? Now this one, I know black can mean dark, and dark can sometimes mean scary, but I like to think of the color black as this way. Although it can be scary, think of it that without it being so dark at night, you wouldn't be able to see all the stars. So dark can be really good for seeing things that you might not be able to see when there's a lot of light around. So I like the color black too. So now you can take a look around and see what's around you that's the color black. The end.